I, I think that it'd be good to like invest in organisations that support mental health because they definitely need more money to make events like this and to be able to plan it and you know, they need the resources to be able to put stuff like this together because it really benefits everybody, it's not just them. People in the suits are not running where we live. They don't know what's going on here on a, like a daily basis and we're the people who, we are effectively the most important because we're the people who are experiencing the services from the NHS and experiencing a school. And as much as they can say, oh, we know it because we're... You did it. And yeah. You were there once. And um, yeah. We're living through it right now and we understand what it is like right now. And rather than just saying, we're so amazing, we follow young people, we're, we, would like to, we would like for people to say, like, we're working with them to, like, better the services and not just... Uh, and not just say, service. yeah, because they yeah. could say that, you know, we support them and we need to help them. But if you want to invest your money, do it in someone which will actually actively do that. Yeah, I think that money should be invested into organisations like Stronger Minds in order because it will trickle down to the people who need it. Uh, I think that um, there needs to be more counsellors because, I mean, the waiting list, I got pushed up the waiting list because I went to my GP, but the waiting list for most people is it's like two years or something one of my mates had to wait. And actually, I don't think that it's realised how much your, men your state of mental health can deteriorate within those two years. So I think that there needs to be more counsellors, just that the waiting list isn't so long. And I think that they need to publicise it and show that actually you don't have to suffer in silence and that you can talk to somebody and that there is a support <coughs> system that is ready to help you. Um, so I think it's really, really important in the environment that you're in. A lot of people would think it doesn't matter, but it really does when you're sharing something personal and you want to build that trust and that relationship with a teacher or a counsellor. Um, and I think, like Ellie was saying, doing it in a school conference room where there's piles of paperwork and you're surrounded by that school life, to just even have like an armchair or sofa where you can just either slouch, lay down, and just completely relax and shut off from school life, just talking to someone and be able for them to listen and you to just relax and... Yeah, for not, you don't have to feel under pressure to, to do anything, say anything. It's just kind of, it's there if you need it. And yeah. the room is there for you to feel comfort.